Welcome into another episode of Condor's Icebreakers. This time I'm going to be joined with the captain in center, Brad Malone. I'm Kerry Osep and Brad, I just want to say thank you so much for taking the time to join me today. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So let's get into these questions. The first one is my favorite question to ask all of you hockey players is why the sport of hockey? It's been something that I've known my whole life. I guess just being Canadian and having it in our bloodlines a little bit maybe, but uh, was never forced on me. It was just something that uh, I easily fell in love with. A long career in hockey from the collegiate level to some time in the NHL, obviously here in the AHL. What's your favorite memory from your whole career of hockey, if you could pick just one? My first game, I think, in the NHL is something um, personally that I know I'll really cherish. Um, Team-wise, I think, you know, anytime you get to play in the playoffs, um, at the professional level, I think those are the, the moments that really stick out just with, uh, you know, the energy in the building and just kind of the, the heightened sense of every little detail. You know, the experiences I've had over the past, I guess, 15 years since I left home, I cherish them for the rest of my life and you know, hopefully I get another 15 under my belt. What do you find is the biggest mixed conception of hockey players or the game itself that people just don't quite get it unless you're playing it? When I talk to people that never really watched hockey, they get confused about the line changes. And then the other one is usually about um, missing teeth. They're like, oh, you play hockey? How come you're not missing any teeth? That's usually the two. How do some guys lose their teeth and some guys don't? You just never took one to the grill? I have, yeah. Just uh, our dentist does a really good job of taking care of us here in town. There's a good plug. Yeah. <laughs> if you weren't playing hockey, what would you be doing for your career? Well, actually, since COVID, that's been a, that's a serious question. I really enjoy the game. I've been I've been trying to coach and you know do all that stuff. But outside of the game, I'd probably be a firefighter, to be honest. Speaking of firefighting, does your seat feel hot over there? No, I don't think so. <laughs> that was a joke, Brad. <laughs> Uh, is, there, is this a prank here? No. <laughs> that was my transition into putting you in the hot seat because we're going right. into rapid fire. I was literal on that. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're a Canadian, but you play in the NHL and the AHL, American hockey, obviously. What's better food, Canadian or American? Uh, Canadian has better fast food, for sure. Ouch. Favorite accent on this current team? Oh, uh, JJ, for sure. Can you give us a taste of it? I won't even, that's not, that's not. Okay. <laughs> Who has the best celebration after they scored? I mean, I like no celebration, so I don't know. Like, Classic. Think, yeah, yeah, just act like you've been there before. I just figured out, Brad, that you you just like to keep it classy all around. You don't celebrate goals. You just keep the break in the ice super simple. Is that the best way to describe you? Uh, yeah. Um, it's one of my favorite songs, Simple Man. But uh, I just, yeah, being from the Maritimes, I guess that's something uh, nature versus nurture.